What up, base heads? Well, just got the old girl cleaned up earlier. The old pressure washer did a pretty good job. Took off the, the Saturn and took off some of the paint, which I got to replace the rear end anyway ever since the accident. I'll show you some of the pieces over here. Well, they were up here. Here they are. They blew down here. Some of the lettering just blew right off. But I can repaint that in there by myself without, you know, putting these back. I'll just do something. But I'll probably just get another rear end. I found another car just like this. But I got it cleaned up. This is a, a true daily driver. I do use this for work every day. That's why it gets beat to hell. Paint's coming off the front when I was pressure washing because I used like a zero tip. <laughs> a lot of decals came off, which is fine because I need to get new decals on it. Um, Some of the side ones. And some of these ones over here. Oh, Cougar Duke. Crazy Cook. And Malibu's. They want to play. Oh, Cook's taking off. But anyway, stay tuned. We got a lot to go over. I'm going to try to go over a little bit today. It's cloudy out right now. Sun was out earlier, but see overcast so it i don't like really filming when the it's cloudy because it doesn't show as much detail but uh we're going to be in the shop here for a little bit anyway we're going to talk about some of this stuff and tomorrow we're going to actually do a few demos and stuff i'll do one tonight but it ain't going to show up as good so that's the bad thing about not having uh the sun out all right we got the basin all back Slam Panda. Zachary sent it back. Sent me the same one, which ain't a big deal because I liked it to begin with. He put new leads on it and stuff. But you see where he had to break the case right there because I had to glue this cover case on because it kept falling off. So did the base knob. He showed me a picture of Gorilla Glue that he uses. But evidently, he didn't use enough glue. He kept showing me everything like it was all my fault. So, it is what it is. We're going to, I guess, put it back in the car. I'm going to see how it works here in a minute. We'll talk more about it when I do. Stay tuned. Also, I still got to get Amp Lab to fix this. But I got too much other things to worry about right now. But we will get it. I emailed them. They haven't emailed me back. So... I'm going to have to get in contact with them. Unless you guys know somebody else that can fix this Sundown amp for me. It's just the MOSFETs on the power supply that's burnt. I'll actually open it up later and show you. We're going to get this stuff and start going through it tonight. And I got the car out there. A lot of decals came off of it due to the winter. And uh, different weather that we've had. Hot and cold, hot and cold. But it's been mostly cold, so... Some of these been on here for a long, long time, too, though. So, it's all good. If you guys got any decals you want to send to Base Junkie 20 Twin Twin, just email me, and I'll give you the address where to send them to. It'd be much appreciated. All right, guys. Let's get this damn base knob and hook her back up. See if Zach fixed it. I think he put a whole new pod in it and everything. It's got new leads on it, I know for sure. <clears throat> Um, the only issues I had with this dude is when I made that video, I, I didn't make it to go against him or anybody else about when this thing messed up and what I think caused the Sundown amp to blow. Now, what I'm saying, the base knob only controls the levels, but whenever, because this one isn't meant to be mounted, I had, it got, whenever this messed up. I had I had just hooked the other one up, and when I was setting it, I noticed when I moved the base knob like this, it would kick on higher. It was sending more signal, because it was letting signal through, but it was like it was shorting out, like it was barely getting the, the connection, just from the breaking point that was here, and that's what I was talking about in that video, and when I was talking to Zach about it, he was trying to act like, like I bent it, and I had it like this all the time or something, but I didn't, 
I only had it like that on that thumbnail because that at that point, that was the only way that I could get the thing to work. Because if you had it like this, it wouldn't even come on at all. It got to be that point. So that's why it was like that when I made that video because it was already so far gone. You know what I mean? But before that, I don't know how long that it was only getting half the signal. And when I set the gains on this amplifier right here, which this was the master amp. When I set the gain on this, I set it by the level. I have the bass knob always turned up when I do. I set any amps, always, no matter when I'm doing it with whatever amp. I always have the bass knob turned all the way up. So turned all the way up, it was only getting like a quarter or half of the signal, and it, I ended up setting it too high. And then sometimes when I didn't even know about, whenever this I was moving it, you know, especially me when I'm doing the demos, you guys see me in my videos when I'm playing it, I'm always holding this thing. And that's what it's meant to be. That's why it's, they get, they make them like this with the with the wire loom on it and everything else to go out the windows. Um, it would kick on, and I didn't know know it. It would kick full signal, and it was clipping my amp because it was it was the amp was set too high. So that's what I was trying to explain to him, and he was trying to turn around like I did something long, and like that his that these bass knobs only send the signal. There's no way they could clip an amp. Well, they can if they only send a quarter of the signal. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, if they're only sending a quarter of the signal, and I set the amplifier by that, and then whenever it ain't short now, like if I move it this way, and it kicks on, and I don't know it, and I'm jamming, especially when you got a full tilt, because you can't. it's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes, when, especially when you're doing a demo. And that's what was clipping it. So I, I believe, because it only burnt the power supply out, it didn't, it didn't burn the the sound stage of the amp out it was just the power supply and i'll even open it up later again to show you guys that i think this is the cause and uh, that's whatever i'm not into the drama i don't even care i'm just warning people just to be careful of that nothing against this guy that makes these it could happen with probably any bass knob i assume um he did he was nice enough to fix it so i can't be mad at him for that i was a little aggravated with how he treated me though because when it all went down at first, whenever other people were saying that it happened to them and they have similar problems, he hit me up and he talked to me for a while and he insisted that I send it to him, which I was going to try to fix it myself. And then I f ended up finding out he's the owner of the company. So I was like, oh, really? Okay, well, I will send it to you. I sent it to him, which I had to pay 10 bucks to send a thing to him. Um, I paid almost like $75. It was like $72 in the tax, whatever, for this thing. So, uh, Anyway, I sent it to him. He gets it back. I don't hear nothing from him. Uh, I knew the package was delivered that Saturday. He never said he got it. Said, hey, it's here. I'm going to work on it for you. I'm going to check it out. None of that. Like, he was talking to me like a friend before that. So, I asked him a couple days later, like on a Monday or Tuesday or something like that. I got the entire conversation on Messenger. Still saved, too, if anybody ever wants to know. Not, not that I want to post that kind of thing. It's just for proof. And, uh... He was kind of acting like, I, you know, like I was asking him to hurry up and get it done or something. But I wasn't. I just wanted to know if he got it and everything was cool. So he say, he sent me, showed me a picture of the package I sent um, with this in it, you know. So I was like, cool. I didn't say nothing else. So a week goes by. So now, now it's going on like a week and a half, getting close to two weeks. Just wanted to know if he's even worked on it. So I put a little emoji of kind of like what, you know, what's going on. That's all I, I posted to him. Nothing said. And he, and he goes on a rampage of saying, you know, um, he sends me videos of this and he's taking the case apart, telling me the case is broke. Because I told you I had to glue it. Cause he did, and he shows me a picture of Gorilla Glue. Like he used this really good glue and you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But the, this case part kept falling apart. All, it kept coming apart on me. So I had to use glue. I put super glue on it. And then the, the knob kept falling off too. So I glued it on. So he shows me a picture of him throwing it in the trash can, which I got that video that he sent me. But I'm not going to post it on here. I'm just telling you, take my word for it. So it kind of made me feel like he kept he was kept acting like I messed this thing all up or something. What it gets was falling apart on its own. You know what I mean? So he did all that, and I was like, well, dude, I was just you know seeing you know what was up and everything, and then and he's like, he next thing I know, he's sending me a picture of. Uh, this package right here, I'm not going to show you the addresses or nothing, 
but it had my address and everything like he was shipping it to me. And then he said, if you just had a little bit of patience, I would have sent you a badass when I was fixing to cut cases. To me, if if he was such a cool dude, why didn't he just send me a different base knot to begin with and then fix this one and or whatever or throw it away or whatever? Instead, he sends me the same one back. He cracked the case trying to fix it because he couldn't get the case off. See where he broke it right there? I didn't do that. He did that. So to me, that's bad business. I don't care that he didn't send me a different design or anything. I picked this one when I was at the Sundown Show because I like blue. You know, my car's blue. Um, you know what I mean? So it ain't a big deal as long as it works. I'm happy. Whatever. Appreciate it, dude. But you didn't have to be such a freaking jerk about it, bro. That's all I'm saying. Cool base knobs. I like them. Excuse me. You know, um, I, I, I just don't like how it was handled, you know. So, you know, I'm cool to you. You should be cool to me. I don't know why you act like such a jerk to me. That's all. And uh, I had posted a video for you telling anybody to, if they had any problems to contact you and you would take care of it. Maybe they should just contact the person that they bought it from, Dropping Hertz or Sundown Audio or Down for Sound. Let them deal with you. That's what I would do because I'm not going that route no more. <laughs> You're all right, man. Uh, I'm glad that, you know, you love car audio like we all do, but uh, don't let your business go to your head. That's all I'm saying, bro. We all do this for fun. It ain't that serious. Anyway, let me get the thing hooked up and uh, get in the car. We'll do a demo for you guys real quick. I got a lot to do, a lot to get done. I'm I'm, I'm really going to get this done this weekend. Um, I'm going to be working hard at it. I already got the car cleaned. I still got the all the the four ds18 speakers which i don't know if i'll get to that but and like i said i still got to get this amp to amp lab you know and i'm not mad at this dude it's just aggravating you know i just i i i, I try to be cool with everybody and i i expect the same respect back that's all so it is what it is guys um anyway we're here to have fun let me hook this bass knob back up let's get the damn thing jamming um Tomorrow, we're going to take the port off. I'm going to show you guys because I, I have to do this tomorrow. I was going to do it tonight, but it's not long. The sun's going to be down, and it's just been cloudy. Look at them clouds everywhere. But I got to take this port off. There's a gang of screws, too, so it takes a little while. It goes all the way around like that because I got this thing screwed down good, you know. With some of those screws probably broke, and I'm probably going to replace some. It's been a while since I did it, but I got one of those floaty towels right there stuck in there a while back plus i want to check the subs and everything else so we're going to do that tomorrow so stay tuned base junkie 20 twin twin um we're going to be doing that we're going to be doing some other things we're going to be packing all that stuff in there and going through all that stuff in there and i'm thinking about doing some giveaways you know so i'm gonna be moving and i'm not sure if i want to lug all this with me so we're gonna go through it there's an eq right here there's a rockville eq in that thing tony sent this to me a while back See the EQ down in there? It's a nice EQ. Um, I got all kinds of stuff, dude. I mean, wires, cables. Got a oscilloscope back there. There's tons of stuff in here. I mean, distribution blocks. You name it, dude. I got tons of stuff, dude. So we're going to go through each and every bit of this tomorrow. You get up the morning, change the oil, then we're doing all this. We're going through all that. I have to. So that's the plan, Stan. So... Thanks for following me. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for sticking with me since day one. I'm one of, this song I'm fixing to do is by Wiz Khalifa. Things called Flexing. Uh, this should be dropping. And I will get to, like, you guys want to do requests and stuff. You know, like I did the request for the one dude, the Zizzy Poppin'. Um, Zizzy Poppin', whatever you call it, uh, 3.5. You know, I don't mind doing those, but sometimes I have to look it up and then I have to make sure the download is good to be able to use it and it takes work to do those so i don't really have the time i'm so busy right now but i will get to you guys to request sooner or later here on youtube and on tiktok but uh for now i got this song that's on my usb that i found that i like a lot and it drops a lot and i think you guys are like it too so i'm going to do a demo of my car of it and then i'm going to make another video like i always do from my usb to you of the song flexing by wiz khalifa and you guys are gonna like it dude i think it's just, it's windy as hell, dude. You're going to love it. So, I appreciate all y'all, man. You know, ain't no hard feelings 
towards a slam panda, dude. I mean, for real, dudes, believe that. Ain't no hard feelings towards anybody, you know. I just do this for fun. I just, you know, I just like going to shows. I like checking out y'all stuff. And I like riding and listening to it myself. I don't play mine to show off to everybody. I, I'm actually riding around listen to it by myself. It could be a deserted country road, and I'm jamming, you know. Damn deers are out there going, good Lord, that dude's got bass. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, even the bears are out there in the caves coming out. They're doing the, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hibernation's over, bro. But, you know, anyway, that's what's up. We're going to go check this song out. Stay tuned to Bass Junkie 2020. Tomorrow we're going to be out here. We're going to be doing the port and a bunch of other things, man. We're, and it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so it's going to be killer. So stick with your boy. Like button and share. Well, I can't wait to get the other 6K back in here. And, uh. We might even go with something different. Send some decals. Uh, if you want me to represent your team or or your logo, your car audio channel or whatever, send it to Bass Junkie 2020 Twin. Twin. Um, my email is always in the description. It's dupes8384 at gmail.com. Um, I'll leave that link in the comments as well. Um, I'll be getting some new decals made myself this year and i'll be sending them out to all my subscribers so appreciate all y'all and i'll catch y'all in the next one which will be tomorrow Light! all right y'all i ain't got much sunlight the sun's actually shining real bright for a little bit so i'm gonna try to help do this and explain this i got this base knob hooked up voltage meter everything's working so it's all good. I tested it. Um, just want to show you guys. This is what I had in there. Temporary. Tony sent me the pack LC1. So that helped me out. Thanks, Tony. When you guys need this, let me know. I'll send it to you. I got my original base knob, which I will hook up to this when I rebuild the fourth order. Because I got this fourth order and I can't get the wires ran underneath until I tear it all out and do it right again. And I'm going to put pipes this time. But this is for the SCV 6Ks. This has got the clip indicator and everything on it. So, yeah. I mean, that's how I can set the amp precisely if I want. So, and it's the RCA type. Oh, this thing's long. It can go all the way to the back. You know, this is from Sundown. I do have the original one. I just haven't showed you guys in a while. Um, I had another one. Oh, I used to have this one in here. This was an old NVX. I got this one cheap off eBay for like 10 bucks a long time ago. Beware of these. I will give Zach and Slam Panda that. When I ran this, it wasn't putting all the signals through. I wasn't getting that much for my head unit. So as soon as I hooked this up, everything got louder. Man, that sun's fixed to go down. We got to do this demo. But nothing gets you, Zach. I just wish you would have trusted me more. We, maybe we both thought we were out to get each other. I don't know. But I was trying to be straight up with you, man. I try to be cool with everybody that does this. So no hard feelings, brother. But uh, anyway, thanks for fixing this. We're going to get out here. We're going to do this demo. And then tomorrow, stay tuned, guys, like I said, because I'm going to be going through all this stuff in here. And we're going to talk about all that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Check this demo out real quick. A few moments later.
That's a fucking fact. Move that shit, dog. Walk a flock of flame. Man, I want it all. So don't touch me.